are back now with our most valuable player brought to you by the Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation. And I've got the winning pitcher today, Court Sears. Not just any win, though. How about a MOAC championship win? Third straight years that you guys have done this. Uh, just the satisfaction of knowing that you guys are uh, top dogs yet again. Yeah, it feels it feels real good. I think uh, – can you hear me good? I think yeah, you, yeah, I got okay. you. Uh, it feels real good, especially three straight in the MOAC, and I think uh, – it's a six straight count in the uh, KMAC, and that feels real wow. good for all of us. And uh, we were wanting to get the third one, and we felt real good about it. Uh, coming out here today, you had to knock off a team that obviously was dynamite in the tournament last year mm -hmm. and has some big boppers in the middle of the lineup, and you hold them scoreless here. So yeah. tell me about your stuff and just how much confidence you had from the bump today. Uh, yeah, me and uh, me and Coach Gresh, we always talk about uh, just how much confidence we have to have and that we know we're the, we're the best out there and we can go at anyone we want and that we just have to trust our stuff and go at them and uh, put pitches where we need them and things will go well for us. What do you trust most? What's your, what's your favorite pitch out there? Uh, depends on, I mean, I, I like everything. I like uh, curveball slider is usually most uh, consistent for me and uh, when change up is working like, like, like it has been the past couple of games, it feels real good. But uh, change up, curveball, uh, not change up, my bad. Uh, curveball slider, fastball, that's always feeling pretty good for me. You were cruising along there through five innings. I think you only had a couple of runners that got on. Then in the six, you got into a little bit of trouble. Just one out, bases juiced. Describe that situation for me and just getting out of it. Obviously, there was a big celebration at the dugout, just how that all felt to go down. Yeah, I mean, uh, didn't put pitches where I needed to. One wasn't fine in the zone. Um, and then came out, uh, got, had bases loaded, and I know I had to go to work. Uh, put put together a couple good at-bats and got some outs, and it felt real good to shut them down and take the momentum away from them. 15 straight wins for you guys? Like, uh, it's, it's almost been a full month, I think, Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I think this was win 21, and, yeah, two losses, 21 too. How, night. as a team, do you get in a zone like that? Because baseball is one of those weird sports where just one off night for you or another starting pitcher or maybe an error or two, yep. and things can go sideways. How do you win 15 in a row? Uh, we uh, t lost those two early ones to uh, one to Shelby and then one to Harding, and uh, we did not feel good about those and knew that we had to go to work if we wanted to get another MOC Conference uh, championship like we did tonight, and we knew that if we wanted it, we just had to go to work, and ever since then, ever since those two losses, we've just been going right at everyone with all the confidence, and we know that we can go at anyone we want, and we'll get them. So far, so good. You're mm -hmm. checking all the boxes. You get Ontario again tomorrow, and then you wrap up the league, I believe, on Saturday with Harding, if that sounds right. Yep, we got uh, Ontario Ontario tomorrow at Ontario, and then we uh, have Newark Catholic there on Friday, and then we come, come back here on our field to uh, finish the second one with uh, Harding. So give me some perspective. A little bit of a sour taste last year, the way that your season ended in the tournament. Finishing up this week, Obviously, the wins are important, but what else do you want to do before you get into playoff action? Uh, we, we just want to keep playing the ball we're playing. We haven't uh, put everything together, but things are starting to click for us, and bats are starting to get hot. Uh, we've been feeling real good on de de defense is starting to come together like yeah. we want it to. Uh, pitching's been – we've been uh, throwing it well on the mound for the past couple weeks, and uh, we just know that the way we went out last year was not the way we wanted to go out, and we know that uh, our best baseball is in front of us and that we just want to go out everyone and – will have a good run for us. Well, if your best baseball is in front of you, that's amazing considering what you guys have just accomplished over the last month. So congratulations, 3-0 win here today. Another MOAC crown and uh, shout outs on the way for you. Go ahead and thank anybody you want. Uh, shout out uh, family and friends who are watching and are here supporting us, uh, especially the community. They've come out and uh, shown out well for us and come to support us the past couple of weeks. They're, they, uh, they're behind our backs and we always hear them and it feels real good to be playing for them. And then, uh, Coach Church, uh, always having confidence behind us. Uh, Coach Klein, putting us in positions to win ball games, and uh, Coach Alry for giving us the insight that we might not want to hear, but we need to hear. And uh, uh, all the other coaches and Coach Gress for just uh, giving me, throwing me, telling me what to throw, and uh, helping me get through the games. All right, good stuff tonight. Thank Court you, Court Sears. Thank you. Your MVP presented by the Ohio Suicide Prevention Foundation.